Hello people, Patolonix here. As probably most of you already know, practice update has been announced and will be released on Friday. In this video I will cover some of the new features and modes. If someone wants to check the entire post on this update, I will leave a link in the description, since I mostly want to focus on new modes that I could experience during the closed beta period. Basically there will be a total of 17 modes. No debuff, debuff, gapple, combo, soup, axe pvp, build uhc, sumo, archer, spliff, that were already a thing, and boxing, battle rush, bridge, bad fight, void fight, pearl fight and parker that are getting introduced for the first time in this update. During the video I will only cover the modes that weren't a thing in the previous update, since all other modes weren't changed much. Before we start, I would also like to give a huge shout to AXL, also known as MoNotFound, and Sunnified for joining the beta practice in the last moment before closing, and letting me record some duels with them. Without free help, this video wouldn't be a thing. The first new mode is boxing. For those people who lived under a rock during the last two years and don't know what boxing is, here is a quick explanation. This is basically a game mode where you get a diamond sword and speed to effect. In order to win, you need to be the first one to hit the opponent 100 times. Personally, while playing some boxing games against other people, I could feel some knockback inconsistencies which made it a bit difficult to hold someone in a combo for longer than just a couple hits. Other than that, the game mode seems alright and to be honest, I've never been a fan of this game mode as it always feels a bit too boring for me, so let's just quickly go to the next one. The next game mode I want to cover is Battle Rush. This game mode is basically sumo, but instead of just knocking your opponent to the void, you need to get 3 points to win. In order to do that, you have to bridge to the opponent's goal and jump into it. Personally, I really like this game mode, although I'm actually horrible at it, but since Pika is introducing his game mode to the server, I will have a great opportunity to get better at it. Another game mode I would like to show you is Bridge. Another explanation part for those who are living under a rock, this game mode features two islands and one block wide bridge between them. In order to win, you need to be the first one to score 5 goals on the opposite side. In the kit, you get iron sword, lever armor, bow, two stacks of blocks, pickaxe and 8 gapples that regenerate you to full health instantly after hitting. Overall, the gameplay felt very smoothly and I think the knockback and maps prepared for bridge are pretty decent. Although I don't really like this game mode personally, I think it's a great addition to the server and many people will definitely play it. The next two modes are Bad Fight and Void Fight. I decided to cover them both together since they are very similar to each other. Both of them feature two islands with bats covered by wood and endstone defense. As you could probably guess, your goal is breaking the opponent's pet and then final killing him. So what's the difference between these two modes? Well, in bad fight, islands are already connected with a bridge right after joining the game, but in void fight, there is only void. Overall, I think this is a really cool game mode where you can easily practice building into the bad defense and top bridge fights that are basically essential while playing ranked bad wars. The only thing I would personally change is the height limit because I feel like the current one is a bit too high. Either way, I think this is another game mode that was highly anticipated by pickup players and many people will play it for sure. However, it's kinda sad that unofficial info that I got seems to be false and we aren't getting any kind of Skywars duels, but we literally got two very similar battles related modes. I guess it is what it is and we gotta deal with it. This game mode is probably my favorite one out of all game modes, and it's obviously Pearl Fight. All you get in the kit is knockback 2 stick, 8 pearls and some blocks. In order to win, you need to knock your opponent down into the void twice. However, this game mode features many maps with huge pearl clutching potential, and all that things put together result in extremely fun game mode to play against your friends, especially in voice calls. 
It's also a perfect mode to practice your pearl clutching skills, but are very important while playing Skywars. This is the game mode that I will most likely play the most after the release of new practice, and I hope I will see you there sooner or later as well. Another new game mode is pretty much self-explanatory, and this is just parkour. It features many different maps, and obviously your goal is to be the first one to reach the end. To make the duel a bit easier, there are also checkpoints placed throughout the map. And these are all the modes I wanted to talk about. However, this isn't the end of this video, since I would also like to mention a couple other changes that will get introduced along with the update. You could probably notice this change just by watching the clips in the background, but obviously we are getting a lot of new maps that are, in my opinion, a lot better than the previous ones. First of all, they are finally flat, so we will have to find some new excuse to losing games because we won't be able to play this to the terrain anymore. We are also getting new events, there will be a total of 4 events, Team Deathmatch, King of the Hell, Brackets and Free For All. Some of you might be wondering where are sumo events. Did they get removed? Don't worry, they didn't. They just got moved into the brackets event category. Another very important change is updated anti-cheat. Because let's be honest, during the last months practice basically became hacker infested and unranked queues were literally flooded with hackers. The last thing I'm going to mention is the mysterious emerald rank. I called it mysterious mostly because we don't really know yet what perks it's going to give. Everything we know is that it's going to be a monthly subscription instead of either seasonal or permanent rank and it's going to work the same way as champion rank in minigames. There is obviously a lot more changes that have been made to the game mode but you might find to be more interesting than the ones I've covered, so as I mentioned in the intro, I left the link to the entire post in the description. To be honest with you, I'm really excited for this practice update and I hope the release will go really smoothly. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think about this update in comments, subscribe for more content of mine and that's going to be it for this video. Stay safe and peace out everyone.